hello guys welcome to my youtube channel and today we are going to do a simple uh, excel project that is data analysis project on the topic uh, that is hiring process analytics okay so what is hiring process analytics let's understand this first okay and then we will move ahead so basically hiring process is the fundamental and the most important function of a company okay so we look at the trends like number of positions how many were hired rejected the salaries uh, past details of the salaries etc right so this these details are uh, studied and then some actions or some questions are answered based upon the data given okay so basically uh, you are given a data set of a company uh, where the details about people who have registered for a particular post uh, in a particular department of this company are given okay and then you are required to use your knowledge in statistics and use different formulas in excel and draw the necessary conclusions about the company okay so this is the uh, brief introduction or you can say brief understanding of hiring uh, analysis operations analysis okay and then uh, what we will do is uh, so uh, we will go to the excel sheet where the data is provided and we will try to answer these questions like how many males and females were hired then average salary offered then department wise average salary etc okay so these some of the questions we will try to answer so first we will have a look on the data given okay so we have application id here then interviews taken on that is the date and time is given then status of their uh, after the interview is given that means if they are hired or rejected okay and the event name event name is nothing but whether it is a male or a female person okay and the department so for which department they have given the interview for example service department then sales then operations department etc okay and post name is nothing but uh, the uh, there is uh, these are nothing but the tires or you can say like a uh, three tire four tire like something like that okay so there are different tire tires like i4 i7 n10 b9 etc uh, with respect to the department they have given here okay and the last is uh, the offered salary how much salary they are offering for this position okay so first uh, question is how many males and females were hired okay so uh, i have just taken a hint here because uh, to understand or to do it in a simple way so we need to use count ifs here okay so what we'll do is uh, here we need to choose a event name here and then a status we need to make use of these two columns okay so what we'll do is we will write a simple formula here that is uh, we will use count ifs okay and then we will uh, choose a uh, event name okay that is this and then we will choose mail okay and then what we'll do we need to choose the second column that is status okay and then what we will need to choose hired okay so that means uh, the number of mails that is hired is 2563 so what what i have done here is uh, i have used a count ifs function here so a count ifs is nothing but uh, it takes the values of first column that is event name as you can see it takes the range of criteria one that is this and then criteria one that is male i have mentioned and second column that is the range and third one is uh, whatever the criteria is okay so uh, these are the number of uh, people uh, that that are hired okay so i will just copy this i will just copy this and then uh, what i will do is Okay, uh, just wait a second. What happened is, okay, so these are the males here. Then what I need to do here is, I need to get the females here, okay. So I just need to replace this with female. Okay. Then press enter. So 2563 is the number of males and 1856 is the female, okay. So we will write uh, male is equal to 2563 and then female is how much? 1856. 1856. Okay. 
so how many males and females are had that is male is 2563 and female is 1856 okay so the next question is average salary offered okay so there are two ways or to calculate the average salary here one is sum method and then we'll divide the count number of employees or direct average we can use okay so we will do uh, both the ways okay so first i will choose this is equal to then i will choose sum and then uh, the number that is this okay and then i will do divided by count of this or i can say application id okay so this is uh, the average salary offered so basically what i have taken is sum of this column that is offered salary okay and then uh, the count of application id that means total number of uh, available applicants okay so this is the one way the second way is nothing but uh, what you can do is you can choose this and here you can see uh, the this right so you can take the average sorry you can choose this column and then you will choose this sorry you can choose average and then you will choose this enter we will get directly the average okay so this is the uh, average here okay uh, we got so the average salary is this much it's not copying 499.83.02 so it is rupees 499.83.02 okay so this is the average salary offered for the applicants 499.83.02 yeah so that is the average salary so the next one is uh, department wise average salary uh, we need to calculate okay so we need to use your average if okay so basically uh, there are different departments here right so we need to make use of those departments and then we can calculate so what we will do is we will first apply the filter here okay so that we will get to know the uh, different departments available so that now i have applied the filter i can see every department here as you can see uh, there are uh, finance department general management human resource department and marketing department okay so i will calculate for the few and then rest all you can calculate okay so what we'll do is uh, i need to do average if okay so it asks for a range that is this okay so i can take any range from here so let's take this itself okay and then it's uh, ask for criteria okay so let's say service department and then i will choose enter okay it's not taking let's check the formula here average if Average range, it is asking for range, then criteria service department, then average range, it is asking. Key, let's take the range of service department and then average range, it is asking. So let's take this. Again, then end up. Yeah. So basically, this is the average salary of a uh, service department. Okay, so let's write department. So the next is I can copy this. What happens? I don't know what is okay. So the next is what we'll do is. Uh, we need to get operations department okay so let's write here operations 
then hit enter so app operations department is 49151 okay so let's write here also let's expand this let's expand this let's go here okay, this is operation department okay so the next is uh, let's take which department marketing department let's take marketing department i will do for four okay and then uh, let's try to build one graph here okay i need to place the equal to sign here and so it is four eight four eight nine that is marketing department okay next is what will take let's take production production so this is so this is production department okay so in this way you can calculate the average with respect to the department okay okay so this is how calculate the average salary here so in this way you can uh, calculate the average with respect to the department okay so the next question is uh, number of people working department wise okay and then what we'll do here is uh, we will use count f okay and then we will choose this and then we will choose uh, service department and then we will choose the next column that is we want to choose this and our status is hired okay we don't want the rejected people and enter okay so basically i have used comma twice here so that's why so 1332 is the service department okay so this is service department people so the next is uh, what do we do uh, next is let's take operations department here mm, click enter mm, next is Uh, what department will take sales and marketing will take sales last is marketing okay so this is sales marketing and this one is operations i think so okay so these are the number of people uh department wise okay so basically uh, you can also okay it's reference so that's why i'm not able to copy this so these are the number of people uh, department wise okay so in a similar way you can calculate the number of people uh, with respect to this okay okay so what we will do is we will choose uh, count if here count if and then we will choose range this and then criteria is c8 okay c8 close the bracket and end so 320 so uh, 320 number of people are from uh, C8 okay so let's write C8 here 
then next is count if then i need to select this and then c5 okay sorry close the bracket so this is the number of c5 okay so uh, in this way you can calculate the number of people uh, with respect to the tires here okay so overall what all things we studied here is uh, how many males and females were hired then average salary using sum and count and then department wise average salary using average if and number of people working that is department wise this and then last one is number of people based on tires so this so this was a simple excel uh, hiring analysis like we did analysis of hiring process using excel okay so simple process uh, you can also do the visualizations uh, using uh, this data okay so try to visualize uh, this data and explore yourself okay and there is one uh, important homework for you people if you have watched the entire video you can try this out try to uh, make an interval of salary range that is uh, take the minimum and maximum salary then uh, uh, divided by the number of employees will get a range so based on that range try to f uh, f make bins okay based on uh, salary and then how many people are there in those bin try to calculate those okay so this is the small task i am providing you like assigning you people so hope you learned and understood something from this video so if you like this video do hit the subscribe button until then take care bye bye